Welcome on back to Up North at 4. Joining us now, it is Hillary Markin with the David R. O. B. Great Lakes Visitor Center. How's it going, Hillary? Uh, it sounds like you guys have been very busy this past month. What do you guys have cooking up up in the northern parts of uh, Wisconsin here? So we're busy getting ready for some new exhibits to come into the visitor center. We always try to keep fresh exhibits rotating through. Over the winter months, we had Walk in a Wildland Fire, and now we're working on transitioning to Lake Wolves, which is a collection of underwater photography um, portraits that have taken by students from Bayfield High School. Hold, oh, hold on, hold on. Underwater <laughs> photo what? what? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to need you to explain this. What, what is, what's going on with this, Hillary? So this is a program where youth from the Bayfield High School um, get to get outside under the water of Lake Superior and explore all the things that are underneath of there and take pictures of it. And then they produce those pictures um, into portraits that are now going to be on display at the visitor center. That's so cool. And Hillary, before we get into future projects, I was reading up on what you're doing and it seems like you have a lot of activities geared toward youth. Is that your mission? Is that your purpose? We're there for the public, everybody, from youth um, to the elderly. We do programs, we have projects, we try to um, engage everybody that wants to come to the Northern Lake Great Lakes Visitor Center to learn about the Schwamigan Bay area and Lake Superior and just the entire Great Lakes region. Love it. And of course, Lake Superior is called Lake Superior <laughs> for a reason, right? Because it's... It, it's Superior, <laughs> right? Um, so, Hillary, another uh, really cool exhibit that you folks are working on up there has been putting together the whole month of March, seeing as how March is National Women's Month, of course. And this exhibit won't actually debut until June, if I'm not mistaken. What is going on with this uh, very special exhibit, though? So we're working on a women in water um, exhibit. It's a global exhibit that features an artist that's called Mary Burns, and she does intricate weavings that are absolutely beautiful. And she is working on those that are gonna highlight women from across the Great Lakes, across the United States. Um, and it's gonna be about world and water. And so it's gonna be these intricate weavings that are gonna describe these um, fascinating women and what they do from water walkers, if you're familiar with what those are, to scientists, to farmers, to different activists. And those will be on display at the Visitor Center starting in June through October. So if you're looking for a fun adventure this summer, come on up to the Ashland area and stop by the Visitor Center. And lots of people like taking day trips, right? Ashland is not that far away, a beautiful place in the country. Uh, but this visitor center to me, Nate, it seems like it's more than just a visitor center that we're used to. You got a lot going on, Hillary, you have a lot going on. What other things are going on at the uh, visitor center? We do. We have exhibits inside that we've been talking about. We have um, the special ones and then standard ones. You can go up to our observation tower and see 360 degrees around. So you can see out to Lake Superior, um, plus all the inland lands you can see. And then we also have trails around the visitor center. So you can take a hike on our boardwalk, go out through the bog, maybe through the ash swamp. And then across the road, we have also our Alda Leopold Trail, which goes along the river. So lots of places to see and explore. We also have native plants and native gardens. So if that's something that's of interest, you can come on up and learn about some of the native plants around. So it sounds like a lot to do, a lot of exhibits, <laughs> a lot of things to see. So Hillary though, I do want to ask you this. If you could only stop at one place or see one site in that area, let's say I have a day trip planned. I only have time, an hour carved out to stop and see one thing. What should it be? I'd say stop in the visitor center and check out the exhibit. <laughs> ah, I knew. <laughs> Why am I not surprised you were going to say Well, it's just so cool that. because, like, the ecosystem around that area is so diverse it as is, well, it right? It's so cool. With the yes. exhibits and with the people there. Ah, this place is cool. Yeah. So I'm thinking. And if Justin you need to dip I... your toes in Lake Superior, if you're a little warm, right? Oh. You can always. No, 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 no. We're going to go Superior. all in. We're going all in, <laughs> Hillary. You got you to gotta jump in and feel that. You, right. You're, you're going to jump in? I've done it. Me? I mean, those temperatures, it's like 45 degree water temperature. We can handle it. For like a split okay. second, and then you jump out. Okay, <laughs> speak for yourself, Jeff. Hillary, right. you jump in with me. I'll jump in if you jump in. My kids will. I only dip Ugh. my little toes in. I'm not a big <laughs> cold water immersion person. Either is Nate. Nate should handle it. Yeah. Hillary and I will just like sit on the like on the shore. And oh, just look be at like, Jeff go. He's hey, like, like, oh, you're freezing, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking, Jeff, you and I might have to take a road, road trip, trip up there sometime in the near future. I think maybe it's once on this the exhibit, the water and women is uh, yes, it's coming up June through May. I think right, June through June through October. October. Correct. 
June through October. Yep, you can come on up and check out the weavings. If you want to come up sooner than that, like as the ice is going out, that water's nice and toasty warm. Come up and yeah, check out the Lake Wolves underwater photography. Um, that'll make you feel nice and cozy warm. Well, there we go. Well, Hillary, I appreciate you taking the time to sit and, and talk with us. This has been a lot of fun, and it seriously sounds like so much going on, and it's something for everybody up there at the Visitor Center. I think we're going to check it out here sometime in the future. In the meantime, though, Hillary, we are going to take a break. We'll be right back on Up North at 4.